Hey guys, this is a quick setup video for your Chromebook. So we're gonna get started with the most basic thing, which is here, your charger. So all you guys have to do is plug in this extension right here. All right, once that's plugged in, you're ready to char charge it up. So obviously this end will go to your electricity, so your outlet, and then this part will go into your Chromebook. So it, it's right here. Okay, so see this right here? That's where you plug this in. This right here would be for SD, HDMI, those are USB ports, and there's nothing right here really besides your volume and your power. So to get this set up, oh yeah, I forgot to mention right here for your headset. Anyways, to get this started, we're going to have to charge it up. Okay guys, so to power it up, just touch right here, or once you plug it into some electricity, this should come up, but your power button's right here on the side, okay? If it doesn't turn on right away when you plug it in, to some electricity. The setup process for these Chromebooks is very easy. We're gonna go through every single step. So let's get started right now. We just have to click on let's go. So that's right here. Just using your trackpad, just press on your trackpad on the left hand side, you guys can click. And from there, just click on whatever Wi Fi network you guys have. So at this point, I have this Wi Fi network. I'm gonna type in my password. Once you guys connect up, just hit next. And then right here, you guys have to accept this. So you don't have to always use your trackpad, that's if you want to, but you guys can also touch this screen since it is touch screen, so we're just gonna go accept and continue. So again, it is touch screen, so you guys can actually touch the screen. If you don't wanna get your screen 30 right now, sure, use the trackpad. So this part right here is really important with Chromebooks because that's all they're using. They're using internet to access everything, and that's why you guys do need a Gmail account. You do have more options right here, so if I tap on more options, we can create an account right now if you guys don't have one. You guys can go into guest mode or you guys can go into the third option, which most of you won't do that. Anyways, right now I suggest creating an account if you guys don't have a Gmail account. But up here is where you type in your Gmail account right now. And that's exactly what you need in order to operate any Chromebook. So once you type in your credentials, pause your password, it's going to go on to this page right here. and. This is exactly what you have to do. You have to review sync options and follow the setup. All right, so we're gonna click right there and then we're just gonna to click on accept and continue. Right here, just click on, I agree. And there we are. So like I mentioned, these setups for Chromebooks are very, very fast. And that's because they are not like laptops. They don't have Windows 10 on them. They're exactly Chromebooks. So. You're gonna get out of them as much as possible if you guys have Wi-Fi constantly. So right down here, you guys will see the circle. Just tap on the circle, and here's where you guys can access more stuff. So if I tap right there, I can show you guys all these programs that come installed. Here's the Play Store, that's where you guys are to download games or more apps for your Chromebook. If I scroll down, I will see more apps here if there were more. Right now, it's just this one right here, Get Help. And that's about it. Then you guys have, obviously, YouTube, your Google Drive is where it's gonna keep all your documents, Google Photos, and so on. Anyways, that's it for this setup. You guys are ready to use this. You're ready to go. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write the document comments area, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.